nice piece. There's some nice peach still light. Hey, crystal blessings, everybody. This is a real quick um, down and dirty video. I just wanted to go over my uh, purchases that I got at the local gem show here last weekend. And um, so I'll just go through them quickly and show you what I've got. Uh, this was a Stellar Beam Calcite that I already had, and I showed you this last week, or in a recent video anyway. And then after saying that I had a really hard time finding Stellar Beam Calcite and wasn't able to find a really good, nice piece that I liked, you know, I had found that one, and then this one showed up at the show, and it has really beautiful golden color when compared to that other one, and a great rainbow inside. So I'm going to sit and decide which, and lots of little baby calcites at the bottom. So I, I think, I think I'm only going to keep one of them, you know, cause I don't, I don't want to like go overboard and have way more than I need. And the other one I will probably sell when I have my Tucson acquisitions, um, later on in February ish around there. All right. So this one right now, uh, the one that I got at the gym show, I'm really kind of liking that one. So I don't know. I don't know. All right. This is some wolfenite, and I really wanted to get some nice crystallized wolfenite. Beautiful crystals on it. It's so hard to choose. Common crystal that you find. Um, it can fluoresce in fluorescent lighting, and I have a video all about that. The crystals are usually orangey, yellow, and you can see these are really nice, and they're usually flat like that because um, it's just their crystal system, the kind of crystal system that they have. So wolfenite is great for inspiring, for creativity, for boosting sexuality. It's a really good manifester stone, stone or crystal. Um, it's like an energizer bunny. It really energizes you. And this piece is from Durango, Mexico. So I keep going off camera here. Sorry. <laughs> All right. And then put that one right there. I got a really nice polished slab or cobachon. I don't know if you'd call this a cobachon, but slab of cherite. And this is just a really beautiful piece. I really should have done this out in the sunlight, but timing didn't allow it today. So I'm doing it under artificial light. Um, not doing it its justice, but this piece has just straight up pure cherite in it. This is a third eye stimulator. That's what cherite is good for. It's really unique because usually these these purple ray or violet ray stones are great for protection and for healing, um, psychic protection, um, spiritual healing as well as emotional healing. Um, but this one's really good for detoxing any kind of negative energies you might be harboring within yourself. Uh, and the, what else can I say? Cherite, um, the name's, the name comes from the Chero River. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly in Siberia. So that's where it gets its name from. And I just had to spring for this piece because I've never seen one. Cherite is hard to find to begin with, but I've never seen one in this beautiful, I mean, this is just a perfect specimen. Sometimes you'll see black or gold specks and it won't be pure violet throughout, but this piece sure was. All right, and then this is a really unique piece. Um, it's your usual like malachite slab. It has a little bit of blue in it somewhere I found, a little, which would mean it's a little bit of azurite. They normally grow together. But this one actually has, see all those little green crystals? That is actinolite. Look at how pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Actinolite is really unique and, again, a hard one to find. Great for health, physical body health, um, harmonizing and balancing the physical body, um, great for infusing strength. And actinolite is used because it's a fibrous mineral in asbestos, but as long as you're not inhaling, breathing, or drinking anything with actinolite in it, it's safe to use, you know, with proper cautions. So that was a really unique piece. And in this little box, I have really gemmy piece of rhodochrosite. Really nice and gemmy. I was so excited to find this piece. I hope this lighting and camera is doing it justice. 
Um, rhodochrosite, a lot of people confuse it with rhodonite because they're both pink stones, but rhodo rhodonite usually has a lot of black or dark in it. Rhodochrosite is really good for self-love and emotional self-healing, deep emotional self-healing. That's what you want to work with rhodochrosite for. Okay, and let me put that back in its little gem case. It's a nice way to display it, and that's a little bit of museum putty there in the bottom to get it to stand. This was just a um, deeply colored Kingsman turquoise, Kingsman mine turquoise. Usually has this really blue, blue color, very vibrant color of turquoise. And you have to be careful. I know the, the vendor I purchased this from is uh, very well respected and has a great reputation, but you have to be careful with your turquoise nowadays. There's a lot of fake turquoise making its rounds, making its rounds. Okay, this is astrophyllite. And again, um, an, a mineral that is not, I think I've done a video on astrophyllite before because I had another really nice piece, but I'm thinking I should keep this one because I keep getting rid of the really good ones. This one has the, whoop, here we go, the um, sought after starburst feature, okay? That is a feature that not all astrophyllites have, but the astrophyllite mineral is actually these little coppery colored, brassy colored fibers. And when it comes in a starburst like that, that is highly sought after, what's known as a collector's piece. And astrophyllite is really great for working with for forgiveness. So in a forgiveness body layout, this would be an ideal mineral to work with. Also for forgiving yourself, and self-acceptance. Um, so that, again, I was really excited to get that. Then here I have an Amazonite piece, and this I kind of got for teaching purposes. Um, I have Amazonite, but I really like the crystal system and what a great specimen this was. It's really just great for showing off the crystal system. Um, we talk about this mineral a lot in the Advanced Crystal Masters course that I do. So um, Amazonite just generally is good for truth and communication. Usually your bluish stones are, um, but really telling yourself and recognizing the truth in yourself and speaking your truth. So good for self-expression. So why I like this piece so much, if you're interested in the geology really quick, um, Amazonite is one of the crystals in the triclinic crystal system. There's seven main crystal systems. And the triclinic crystal system is the most complex crystal system. There are no 90 degree angles ever in a mineral of the triclinic crystal system. So no like corner, squarish corners, no 90 degree angles. All the axes, the C axis, which runs up and down, the B axis, the A axis, so that's like your height with, you know, those kinds of axes are always different lengths in a specimen um, from the triclinic system. So like I said, it's a pretty complex one and this was just a really good teaching piece. This is vanadinite and I've talked about vanadinite before in um, other videos, but come on, look at this piece. Look at it, look at these crystals. I mean, I just went gaga over it when I saw this and it's got them all over, yes everywhere. Vanad and I, we've talked about this. This is your get schist done. Get her done stone. Uh, you need some, a big, big boost in creativity. Um, you need stamina to get stuff done. You need discipline. Um, if you need to get grounded because you're too floaty to be disciplined, this is the stone you want to work with. And notice it, it really demonstrates, whoa, sorry, the crystals really demonstrate the hexagonal crystal system really, really well. And again, hope that we are getting all of that. This is just a really nice piece. All right, and then I also wanted to show you this pendant that I got. I'll try to link below because before I went online and I couldn't find the person's link to their shop, but I needed a Storolite um, piece and I wanted to wear it because I thought I was going to do a Candida cleanse, but I'm not, so I will use this for other discipline um, type of things when I'm really needing focused attention and discipline. There's actually little garnet specks in here, but again, I hope, hope we can, we're getting this. Oh goodness. Okay. 
So um, a little bit of garnet in there. It's really great for um, if you're looking to do a candida cleanse, Storolite is one to kick candida out. Physical well-being, um, it helps connect you with the earth. It's also known as an anti-aging stone, but what's really cool is on the back, they put a piece of black onyx. And black onyx also helps you with willpower. So if you're doing a candida cleanse, you're going to need willpower to stick to it um, and discipline. So onyx helps you with that and getting uh, focused attention. This would actually really be a great partner with vanadinite. Those two together, great partners. Okay, everybody, I hope you have a great week, and I will talk to you all soon. Namaste. Bye.